As Republicans face off in Iowa tonight, the Biden-Harris campaign is announcing a massive cash haul in its latest filings. It's actually, it's record-breaking for Democrats. The campaign raised $97 million in quarter four with a total of $117 million cash on hand. It is the highest total amount amassed by any Democratic candidate at this point in an election cycle. Let's bring it right now to talk about these fundraising numbers. One of the co-chairs for the Biden campaign, Oscar-nominated writer and producer Jeffrey Katzenberg, he, for some reason, has chosen to be freezing <laughs> in Iowa this morning. I'll ask you that in a second. But, Jeffrey, I, we're going to get to the record-setting hall in a second. I will, I will say, though, what I really want to talk about here is the fact I've, I've heard a lot of people around the White House. I've heard a lot of people in politics. I've heard a lot of people in Hollywood talking about your decision, uh, and it, almost like a lightning bolt decision, to just put things to the side and to focus on what you consider to be a battle uh, for the heart and soul, not only of, of American politics, but for democracy. Talk about your decision to put this front and center in your life. Well, thank you, Joe. Thanks for having me. Um, great to be here from uh, sunny uh, downtown Des Moines, where it's a toasty minus 10 degrees, uh, right. headed to a frigid minus 40. Don't know whether you've ever experienced that before. Not sure you need to, but uh, trust me, it's yeah. uh, special. Um, uh, I think this is, um, as many people have said, as the First Lady just said, this is an existential moment for us, for our country. Uh, the choice could not be clearer. Uh, I have known uh, President Biden for 40 years. I think he is one of the most remarkable and decent and passionate uh, uh, and empathetic people I have ever met. Um, and uh, I believe in him and, uh, and I believe in the cause here, which is uh, we are here not just to reelect a great president, but to defend democracy. Talk, talk, talk about age. You've said before, age is a superpower. There's something Mika has said for some time as well, that the Joe Biden of 5, 10, 15 years ago, actually, uh, you know what? It was good that he was vice president. He's grown, actually, into a position now where his age, actually, uh, Jill Biden says is a superpower. Mika said the same thing. He's better now than he's ever been. And it's something that you focused on as well. While everybody is going out, you know, uh, MAGA extremists are trying to paint him as as uh, too old. Uh, the fact is, uh, he's actually he's he's actually on top of his game. You talk to him about foreign policy. He's so far he's light years ahead of just about anybody else in Washington D.C. Well, I couldn't agree with you more, and uh, his knowledge and his experience uh, has, you know, served this country incredibly well, particularly when you see the world affairs, uh, you know, of the last months, uh, last year even. But, you know, whether it is dealing uh, with the Middle East, dealing with Ukraine, bringing NATO together, uh, standing strong uh, for us uh, in our dealings with China, these come from decades of uh, experience, incredible relationships that he has built, credibility that he has built with world leaders. Um, and let's not forget, you know, in his uh, first two years, he has gotten more accomplished than any other president in modern times. And so uh, to me, this is uh, a privilege to be here working uh, in support of him and his campaign. Jeffrey, good morning. Uh, Jonathan Lemire here. Good to talk to you uh, again. Um, we just went through the fundraising hall from the last quarter, and Democrats and Republicans don't agree on much right now, but they do agree this is going to be an extraordinarily expensive campaign, maybe $2 billion uh, or so when all said and done. There have been some in your party who have worried about the enthusiasm among the base for this president. Um, can you explain to us, though, should these numbers, should these alleviate some of these concerns? Is this showing an enthusiasm for President Biden? And how do you keep it going for what will be an extraordinarily expensive year ahead? So the answer is 100 um, percent. And it's fascinating to me because when you listen, you know, to the pundits and and the polls um, and then you actually see the results of fundraising, it could not be more disparate. 
you you have ninety seven million dollars, two hundred and thirty five million dollars raised in a pre election year. I say that again, two hundred and thirty five million dollars and having the resources and and the sense of urgency that we have uh, to go out uh, and run a great campaign and win this election. Um, you know, you need this. Now, one of the things I find, again, really interesting about this is, is that 97 percent of the donations have come uh, from small donors. Uh, and that uh, support. So there's literally over a million people have contributed to Joe Biden's campaign. So that is a level of enthusiasm and commitment and grassroots support, which was essential in his 2020 campaign, which I just don't think is being reflected in sort of the beltway gossip. Well, we, 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 we always hear that Donald Trump is so good with smaller donors. We always hear Bernie Sanders and others who are. Right? Bernie's, Bernie's great with his, his, his small donors when, when he ran in 2020 and before that. But you're saying right now that small donors are actually the ones who are powering this record setting hall. I'm saying quite clearly in this uh, at this moment in this time on the fundraising side, Joe Biden is kicking butt. You could no. not ask for uh, a better outcome. You couldn't ask for more momentum uh, to the other thing that you you raised, which is, you know, sort of the chatter that goes on. Um, remember, I I come from uh, Hollywood and uh, uh, in, in the movie making world, everybody has an opinion. Everybody knows better than you. Um, everybody second guesses. And so, you know, I take all of that honestly with a, with, a, with a grain of salt. And so maybe what that does, which I see the positive in it, is it creates urgency. And I, I think that urgency is a very effective and important tool uh, for, that actually works to our benefit. You know, um, speaking of Hollywood, and you know this so well, again, I want to keep kind of hammering down on this point because I think it's so important. You know it takes decades and decades uh, to figure out exactly what to do, what, uh, you know, how to make a movie work, how to make something. Paula Scher, uh, who, is, of course, is extraordinary uh, graphic uh, designer, uh, probably the best in the world, she said, sure, it took me only a few seconds to draw it. But it took me 34 years <laughs> to learn how to draw it in a few seconds. And again, th it, that applies whether you're Paula Scher or whether you're Jeffrey Katzenberg or whether you're Joe Biden, doesn't it? Yep. And again, I uh, what I'm excited about is, is that, you know, the president has uh, opened the door looking for support and resources from all over the country, from uh, as diverse uh, uh, a group of um, people that can be uh, contribute to the success of his campaign. And uh, and so being here and being able to roll my sleeves up and help the campaign, help the president uh, run a winning campaign. And as you pointed out, Joe, he came, you know, uh, back from holidays, uh, you know, and just completely fired up and energized. And you cannot look at that speech that he gave in Valley Forge and not be impressed with the passion and the energy and the vitality uh, of, of the president. It, it really was, I just think, an incredibly energetic uh, moment for us, for the campaign, for the party, and I think for his supporters. And he's continued it. He did it in South Carolina. Yep. He's done it this past week. He'll do it again today uh, in Philadelphia. I was going to say one of those pivotal moments in the campaign that I think people look back on that Valley Forge speech and then on Monday going, uh, to Charleston, so important. Biden campaign co-chair Jeffrey Katzenberg on a record-setting day for the Biden campaign. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me.